here to talk to you today about bidding at auction. Now, the first thing, the most important thing about bidding at auction is just to remember that this is meant to be fun. It's a way of winning your property. And I know there's a bit of stress in that, but it shouldn't stop you from being from being able to put yourself in the position or the best position to win your dream home. So, what's the first thing? The most important thing is knowing what your budget is. When it comes to your budget, we usually have three prices in our head when we go to buy a home. We have the price that we would like to pay, which everyone is happy to get a house for the property they'd like to pay. Then you've got the price that you think is fair to pay. Um, for whatever reason, that's the price that you know, you, you ha you're happy to pay it. You, it's not what you'd like to pay, but you're happy to pay it. The third price is the price that hurts to pay. It's that price that we get to where we've pushed ourselves as hard as we can to get to that. We literally cannot spend a dollar more. And it'll hurt today, it'll hurt next week, and it'll hurt in three months. But after that, you won't even notice it as you enjoy living in your home. That's the price you need to know when you go to auction because you're bidding against somebody else and you don't want to have to make that decision on the day and maybe go too far. So figure out what is that very top price, that price that you know would really hurt to pay for the house that you can still afford, where you're happy to you're literally just happy to walk away if you don't get the property for that figure. So you need to have those three prices and then if somebody beats you on the day and you've got to that point or they've gone over that price, you can walk away knowing that it just wasn't meant to be. So first thing, sit down and figure out what is your price. The second thing you need to do is talk to your bank or your broker to make sure you can go to that price and you need to get a really a, an approval that's all the way through. It's not just a pre-approval but that they approve you right up to the point where you know you can bid at auction confidently. If you explain to your bank or your broker that you're actually bidding at auction, they will give you that approval that, to give you that confidence to bid on the day. Now, with a bidding strategy, what do you do? Do you go in first, last, do you wait? Well, the person who bids strongly at the beginning can sometimes blow away half the competition. So figure out what you would like to, to put in as an opening bid. And look, the trick here isn't to go really low and lowball it. The trick here is to do a bid that's probably not going to win you the property. We're not talking about going, you know, really high, ridiculously high straight away. But putting in a bid that's high enough to make people sit back and go, oh, they're really serious about the property. It gives the, the bidding a whole head start and it can perhaps take out some of your competition straight away. Um, if you are going to take a really strong stance on bidding, bid firmly, bid like you know what you're doing. And if somebody else puts in a bid after yours, come back straight away with a higher bid. So let's say, for example, if you said 600 and they said 620, you go 630. And they said oh, 640, you go 650. You know, just bang, 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 straight away. Um, and that sort of strategy shows that you're really serious about bidding and, it, it, and you know, it can intimidate other bidders. I know intimidate's not a nice word, but it does put them off a little bit. So whatever you do, bid really strongly. The other option is to, to let everyone else bid and then just as it's closing or winding down, you come in with your first bid. And it can be right at the top range then of your budget. As long as it's not over your budget, you just need to always stay under that figure. But if you can, if you come in at the top, it can sometimes then look like oh, somebody else has just come out of nowhere. And it happens quite often that people do come in right at the very end. So they're the two options, whether you start the bidding or finish the bidding really strongly. The, the trick is just to know what your budget is and to actually bid strongly to show that you're serious. The, the thing about bidding at auction is that an, at an auction, the, the vendor or the, the owner of the house is wanting a result too, you know, and they're really prepared to sell on that day. So bidding at auction is a really strong option. So how does it work? Well, either we get to the reserve price and the house literally becomes what we call on the market. And that means that the highest bidder on the day is going to win the house. They're going to buy this house and no other negotiations will come into, into the picture at all. 
The second thing that can happen is it can pass in before we get to the reserve price. It does happen, but 95% of the time that it does happen, the highest bidder actually will negotiate for that house successfully. So whether you actually get to reserve or not on the day, it is worth bidding and being the highest bidder because you do get an exclusive time period to negotiate with the vendor where no one else will be taken into consideration and then the house does go on the market and it becomes open to all other buyers, whether you're subject to sale um, or subject to finance, everyone is able to put in an offer then and it will be blind, you won't know what their offers are. So. Being ready to bid on auction is a very powerful situation for the buyer. And basically, after you win the auction, everyone cheers and you come inside and sign the paperwork and you put down the deposit of $20,000. Now this can be personal check, bank check, or you can do it by direct transfer. Um, if you do it by direct transfer, do go and see the bank and make sure you can do a $20,000 direct transfer in one hit because most of us can only do one or five thousand dollars um, so get that approved and then that's it the house is yours we drink some champagne everyone's happy um, well the winners happy and the vendors happy and it's it's a really good buzz you know winning a house at auction it's really really exciting but whether you win on the day or you just participate have fun an auction's meant to be fun. It's meant to be, you know, a bit of a competition and, and, you know, if you put yourself into the right space and you know how much, you know, your your amount is and you're confident with that, it is a lot of fun to bid at auction. If you have any questions at all, just give me a call. Happy to meet with you and discuss strategies. Other than that, I'll see you on Saturday at the auction, um, ready to have some fun.